Hey, yo, people, sometimes, right, sometimes you throw something on and then you realize, ah, shit, maybe I shouldn't have done this, right? Uh, but, hey, shit happens, right? So I checked out the new version of House Party. So this is directed by... Climatic. This was actually his feature directorial debut. You know, it was written by Stephen Glover and Jamal Alori. The film is then produced by um, LeBron James, Maverick Carter. It's executive, executive produced by Richard Brenner, Spencer Bailey, Jamal Henderson, Reginald Hudlin, Warrington Hudland, uh, Josh Mack, Victoria Palmieri, and Gretel Fumbly. Oak Felder handled the music, Andrew Hubuska. Cinematography, Matthew Barbato edited the piece, Kim Coleman was down with the casting, production design, we have Scott Falconer, art direction, we have Francis Lynn Hernandez, uh, set decoration is Maya Levy and Laura Harper, right, Dercia Cole Washington, costume design, all right, and our cast, well, people, we have got Kevin, played by Jacob Lattimore, his best friend, Damon, it's Damon, right, but Damon, the French way, is played by Torsin Cole, there's Venus, right, who is played by Karen Oberlum, uh, we have Vic, Played by DC Young Fly, um, Micah, uh, v Bleh, Venus's friend, is played by Shakira Janape. Uh, Larry is played by Melvin Gregg. Kyle, we have Alan Maladona. Gwil is played by Rotimi. Kid Cuddy's up in the police. Right, you know, Scott Mosquito. We have Maya, played by Maya. Anna, played by Irie Soul. Um, Grace, played by Tamara Kissens. Peter was uh, Andrew Santano. It wasn't in it enough, I feel. All right, Sly is played by Chindu Unaka. Reg, Jamar. Malachi Neighbors, okay, aka Jamar Neighbors, the comic. Um, Gavin is played by Teddy Ray. Juan is played by Zeus Levy. Pops played by Bill Bellamy. Uh, Lisa is played by Nakia Burris. Aunt June played by Renata Walsh. Right, LeBron James by LeBron James. And then we've got a whole heap of other cameos and peoples up in the spot, right? So, now the gist of this. When a pair of down-on-their-luck house cleaners discover they're assigned to clean the mansion of LeBron James while he's overseas, they decide to make a life-changing decision to throw a giant party in a quest for immortality and some cash. As the party gets out of control and one of LeBron's championship rings goes missing, they will be launched into a wild night that they will never forget. So, yeah, there we go. Now, listen. <sighs> yeah, as, um, you know, if you've been following, if you follow every week, you know the white man can't jump, come calmatic second joint, I wasn't really a fan of, 
right? So, yeah, this, people, it's not for me. It's not for me. But um, I think, right, if you are fans of stuff like uh, Bad Neighbours, right, those films, if you liked, um, well, it, obviously, if you liked White Man Can't Jump, the 2023 version, if you like you people, you know, if those films are for you, I will even throw in House Party 3, 4, and 5. I feel there was a 5, right? It was like House Party Next Level, something like that. You know, if those are your jams, then I think you will like this new iteration. You know, for me, right, everything is like the acting is fine. It's not going to win any awards or anything like that. It's the story that kind of vex me the most. Right. Just because we've just got these caricatures, you know what I mean, I'm like, yo, we, we could have these cats be different things this time out, you know what I mean, we don't have to fall to those same old, same old stereotypes, but that's not even the worst thing for me, right, there was some elements of Highlander free here, you know what I mean, like, <laughs> trying to recap just some of the moments from the first film, you know, the dance scene, especially, they they just didn't have the same, you know what I mean? That 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 same energy, right? They didn't connect with you the same as in that original flick. I loved that original film, man. That was my joint. You know what I mean? Old Reggie Hudland killed it with the first house party for sure. So there was that, and then also. It, it, it had that, it was like the same as Hustle and Flow, my issue with that. And that was, he didn't, right, we saw no grind, right? It was just like, oh, I want to be a rapper. Oh, Ludacris has to take my tape. What? He won't take my tape. Like, yo, I've been around the scene for a while, you know what I mean? So back in the day, right, I was out every single night, right, you'd hit the open mic circuits, and you would always see the same people doing their thing, grinding, and we did not see that out of Terrence Howard's character in Hustle and Flow, and this one, yo, my voice just went, woo, this one, you know what I mean, was some similar shit, because, you know, they're, they're, house cleaners, that's not the thing, that's fine, do you, you know what I mean, like, hey, it's about putting food on the table, do whatever the fuck it takes, you know, but we have him be like, oh, I've got to have 10 grand in two weeks for my daughter to go to school, now, this isn't something that's just been sprung on him, so, What's he been doing? How has he been trying to raise that money? Right? What's he been doing to elevate his situation to handle the business that needs to be handled? Right? We've not seen anything. And especially when we see, you know, the camera footage. Right? For someone who's like desperately needs this money, desperately needs this job, they're just fucking around. Right, and it's not just a, a simple fuck around, right? Because I think, listen, you're working hard, you can crack some jokes, you can do a ting a ting, you know what I mean? But they, what they were caught doing, you know, you were hey, that that's not gonna wash, right? You know it, so why, why do it? You know what I mean? And the other thing. You're cleaning houses, right? And they're expensive houses. So you would know there are cameras all over the place. That's what was weird. 
it's like you would know there's cameras. You know what I mean? And I imagine you were told in the interview, you know, so that makes no sense. And then it like the whole Venus situation is that that's a weird arc. It's a weird arc. Right? They they take it from nowhere to somewhere. And it's just like, yo, what what's happening with this arc? Right? With this storyline. Because it just seems like you wonder if stuff was cut. You know, because look, stuff gets lost on the editing floor sometimes. So maybe there's different threads of that story that were, you know what I mean? Had to be left out for whatever reason. Maybe that's a thing. But yeah, it was just very random. The whole koala, random. There's just a load of things that seem to be thrust in to get laughs. But for me... Um, yeah, I just wasn't laughing, you know, it, it just wasn't really funny, you know, like, I will say this, Cuddy was probably better than Bill and Ted's, and Bill and Ted's was whack, right, so that's saying something, I mean, the best thing I've seen, well, one of the best things I've seen Cuddy in, because I know there's been some other things, with, and I cannot remember, but Enter Galactic, yo, that was fire. If you haven't seen Enter Galactic, go watch that film. It's so good. So good. I think we talked about it in something like 240 something, right? I think so. Maybe 239, 38, something like that. But yo, it's on Netflix. It's definitely worth a it's definitely worth a what it will be one of your favorite films, trust me, people. But yeah, you, you had a load of different cameos that make no sense, right? The whole Maya story arc, again, weird, makes no sense. It's weird. So yeah, that's the thing. But here's a big thing, right? You can definitely see a clear evolution in Kalmatic style from House Party to White Men Can't Jump. White Men Can't Jump was a far better directional till, right? You can see that he's le he learned a lot when putting that one together. So, you know, there's that, right? But as I say, people, if you enjoyed the latter house parties, Right, if you enjoyed the Bad Neighbor series, you know, things like you people, if those are the, the comedic films that you really like, then this new house party, this will be fine with you, this will work. So, although not my jam. It very well may be yours. So, yeah, there you go. And I realized something else. I, for whatever reason, I don't even know. I've, I've been looking on Disney Plus for this film. It's Warner Brothers. It's HBO Max. That's why I couldn't find it on Disney Plus, people. So, um, yeah, there you go. Links um, for viewing and all of that jazz on the website. So, uh, yeah. That is my thoughts on the 2023 iteration of House Party, people.